Welcome back, friends, to Psalm 35. Contend, O Lord, with those who contend with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take up shield and buckler. Arise and come to my aid. Brandish spear and javelin against those who pursue me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. May those who seek my life be disgraced and be put to shame. May those who plot my ruin be turned back in dismay. May they be like chaff before the wind, with the angel of the Lord driving them away. May their path be dark and slippery, with the angel of the Lord pursuing them. Since they hid their net for me without cause, and without cause dug a pit for me, may ruin overtake them by surprise. May the net they hid entangle them. May they fall into the pit to their ruin. Then my soul will rejoice in the Lord and delight in his salvation. My whole being will exclaim, Who is like you, O Lord? You rescue the poor from those too strong for them, the poor and needy from those who rob them. Ruthless witnesses come forward. They question me on things I know nothing about. They repay me evil for good and leave my soul forlorn. When they were ill, I put on sackcloth and humbled myself with fasting. When my prayers were turned to me unanswered, I went about mourning as though for my friend or brother. I bowed my head in grief as though weeping for my mother. But when I stumbled, they gathered in glee. Attackers gathered against me when I was unaware. They slandered me without ceasing. Like the ungodly, they maliciously mocked me. They gnashed their teeth at me. O Lord, how long will you look on? Rescue me from their ravages. My precious life from these lions. I will give you thanks in the great assembly. Among throngs of people, I will praise you. Let not those gloat over me who are my enemies without cause. Let not those who hate me without reason maliciously wink the eye. They do not speak peaceably, but devise false accusation against those who live quietly in the land. They gape at me and say, Aha! With our own eyes we have seen it. O Lord, you have seen this. Be not silent. Do not be far from me. Awake and rise to my defense. Contend for me, my Lord and my God. Vindicate me in your righteousness, O Lord my God. Do not let them gloat over me. Do not let them think, aha, just what we wanted, or say, we have swallowed him up. May all who gloat over my distress be put to shame and confusion. May all who exalt themselves over me be clothed with shame and disgrace. May those who delight in my vindication shout for joy with gladness. May they always say, the Lord be exalted, who delights in the well-being of his servant. My tongue will speak your righteousness and of your praises all day long. I like this one because he's calling out different things. People have been evil to him and mean to him and malicious to him. And he's saying, God, help me here, right? And it's okay to cry out to God and to point out that, hey, people have been mean unfair to me. And he was saying he was a good friend, right? When they had bad times, he put on sackcloth and was mourning. But then when he had trouble, they went about and were trying to, you know, kind of get him back. So you want to stay away from those kind of people for sure. But also it's okay to cry out to God and say, God, help me in this situation. And then I like how he wraps it up, though, in verse 28. My tongue will speak of your righteousness and your praises all day long. Yes, here he had trouble and people were being mean, but he didn't dwell on that, right? He turned it around and he just said, God, you know what? All day long, I'm going to praise you. So that's what I'm taking away today. Even though I have some hard times, I'm going to be praising him all day long. I hope you join me praising God, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. And I would like to answer any question you may have about faith in Jesus. Just email me through my website, nancyjoytoyou.com. 